Finally. Hey, wait. Where's this part go? Okay, there's three primary, um, most widely used type of setups for the rear end. The, uh, directly from the clutch to your sprocket on the axle. That's one setup. The second setup is implementing a jack shaft. And the third setup is having a torque converter and jack shaft. The first setup will be a direct setup, a direct link from your clutch right to your sprocket, right to your sprocket on your axle. That is a, that's most commonly found on mini bikes. The second way is what I have here, and that's setting up a jack shaft. Uh, jack shaft is pretty much all it really is designed for is to transfer the RPMs of your engine into torque so you have better takeoff. The third type of setup is a torque converter, like what we have here. You have your driver, which is the part that goes on the engine, and then you have your driven that goes on a jack shaft. And I don't know if I can show you this. You can see how the jack shaft is set up going right through here. And it's mounted. It's actually factory made. So um, how this is set up is you've got, once this engages, it then will turn the sprocket that's way back there that's on the jack shaft on the opposite side of this part here it's on the opposite side and then the chain goes to your sprocket this thing is most of the time if you're an adult or a kid between you know a kid older than 12 13 whatever um, this is the type of setup that you're going to want to use because that also gives you power and speed now there's other ways to transfer your power to your axle too there's uh, um, there's belt driven setups now a torque converter is not a belt driven setup so those of you guys out there just getting into go-karts uh, if you're ever, if you're ever looking at a go-kart and you see a belt on it it doesn't mean that the cart is belt driven um, the torque converter is a belt driven system but the cart is not technically known as being belt driven unless the belt goes directly to a pulley that is on the axle then you would call the power transfer to the rear end of the cart as a belt driven type of setup that's one setup is, is belt set belt driven the other setup is a direct drive and that can get real messy and I'm not even going to explain that. So now depending upon the application a belt driven setup can be virtually just as reliable as chain except when it gets wet. And also a belt driven setup is not uh, to, to implement a belt driven setup onto your go-kart it's not going to be able to handle quick and sudden takeoffs like a chain would be able to. There are as many ways to set up the rear end on a cart as there are people alive on this planet. There is, uh, you can see how on both of my carts that I have here, my jack shaft setup um, is, both of them go forward in front of the engine. Now that doesn't have to be always set up that way. This jack shaft could be set back here where the chain goes around the sprocket. Now the clutches and the torque converters, um, those are also just as wide and vary in size and usage. On uh, go-karts that are built for racing, uh, this clutch is designed much more heavier duty because most of the time that does not have a jack shaft set up in them in those things. It goes right from the clutch right to the sprocket and those are designed a lot more girthier. They've got more oomph to them to be able to handle the speeds and stuff that the engine puts out. Torque converters are the same way. Um, this is a Comet 30 series and you can get a Comet 40 series, 44 series. That would be for engines that are a larger and more horsepower. Um, you can actually go to more professional grades, uh, which which is what, you'll, what you would find on like drag racer carts. I've seen some of those things, and those things look like they're just all sorts of badass. So um, you can get them off for snowmobile engines and all sorts of different stuff. Comet actually makes these, well, they used to make them. They're not in business anymore, but, um, and you know, Comet went out of business, so they're not they're not operating anymore. Uh, you can buy Japanese uh, or Chinese knockoffs, more professional grades. Uh, you can buy their the torque converters are you can find them in different values, different sizes, 
to handle different engines, to different handle different output. There's a wide variety of torque converters out there. Same with clutches. There's a lot of different types of clutches out there too. So those three types of setups that I that I just showed you are the three most common.